Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Well, today I want to talk about a simple lifestyle change that you can make whether you're at home, you're traveling, wherever you are in the world. You see, it's all about lifestyle changes. People get addicted to diets. People get addicted to this piece of paper that tells them what to eat all the time. And that's a problem, especially when you have to eat out of your home, when you have to travel and you can no longer follow that piece of paper that tells you how you should eat, when you should eat and what you should eat every step of the journey. So the whole idea is making simple lifestyle changes which are literally inexpensive, practically free, that you can do anywhere in the world. Today, I want to talk about one lifestyle change that can help you improve your digestion, that acts as a natural detoxifier, that improves your blood circulation. When we have the right blood circulation, we have the right amount of oxygen and nutrients carried to trillions of cells in the human body. It relaxes the central nervous system. It's great for helping you sleep well at night. It helps peep, it helps women with painful PMS, it boosts your metabolism, constipation and congestion. Yep, one simple lifestyle change that can help you achieve all of this. It is the practice of drinking warm water. Now warm water, uh, the, the practice of drinking warm water has existed in Ayurveda for years and years and it's also something that's been practiced across civilizations which is why after some particular meals you are served hot water in some countries it's tea, in some countries it's coffee. But there is a reason and a science behind consuming warm liquids before or post a meal. Number one, digestion. We all know that it starts with digestion and it ends with digestion. You could be eating the best food in the world, the most organic and healthiest food. But if your digestive system is not functioning the right way, you have a problem. Because it's not about what you eat, it's about how your body digests, assimilates and absorbs what you eat. Now, warm water has the ability to stimulate your digestive enzymes. We've done videos about this in the past where we talk about how digestive enzymes help you break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. A lot of people today give up carbohydrates completely. They give up fats and they go high protein, not realizing that if you have the right amount of digestive enzymes and you eat the right quantity and the right quality of carbohydrates, you have digestive enzymes that have the function of breaking down carbs, breaking down protein and breaking down fat. And then we see people overdoing with protein and yet you, 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 know, you keep wondering, wow, that person's taking so much of protein, working out so much, but still he or she hasn't got the body or reached the weight target that they desire. That's because it's not about the quantity of protein. You need the right digestive enzyme to break down protein into amino acids. And it's the amino acids and protein that does all the magic when it comes to gaining lean mass, when it comes to losing weight. So when it comes to digestion, drinking warm water. Now, I'm not talking about hot water because if you constantly drink hot water and hot beverages, like some people drink their coffees and teas and their water, scalding hot, that's bad for your esophagus. That's bad for your digestion. That's bad for the thin tissues in your throat pipe. I'm talking about lukewarm water. That, that has the ability to stimulate your digestive enzymes. So what I usually like to do when I'm back home in India, I like to have warm water with a little bit of jaggery because we all understood that jaggery has been used for years to stimulate digestive enzymes. Just a little bit of jaggery post your meals stimulates your digestive enzymes. That means your food digests faster and better. Absorption, assimilation, everything happens efficiently, which reduces the amount of bloating, acidity, the, 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 and uh, excess acid production in the human body. So what you can do, some people also prefer to drink a little bit of warm water before their meals, about 30 minutes before their meals. You know, I'm a fan of not drinking water during meals. We have water either 30 minutes before a meal or 30 minutes after a meal, because during meals, we do not want to dilute our digestive fluids with water. And anyway, most of the food that we eat already has a small content of water, which is enough for digestion to work. So I like to end my meal with a little bit of warm water. Sometimes I put jaggery in, a little bit of jeera or a little bit of ajwain because jeera and ajwain are Indian spices that also stimulate digestive enzymes automatically. So instead of trying to remember three or four different things to happen after a meal, all you can do is put a little bit of jaggery in a cup of warm water, a little bit of jeera, a little bit of ajwain, and it becomes a digestive mix on its own. Some people may just mix that together, jaggery, jeera, and ajwain together and have it as a digestive as well. Choose what works for you depending where you are. 
Detoxification, again, why? Detoxification always doesn't have to be about blueberries, blackberries, green tea, juices, and all of that stuff. When you drink warm water, you automatically start sweating a little bit. One of the two most powerful ways to detoxify is having a healthy urination because you urinate and sweating as well. When we sweat, we sweat out toxins from the human body, which is why your workouts should enable you to sweat at least twice or thrice in a week. It is so important for us to sweat out toxins from the human body because the more toxins we accumulate, the more difficult it becomes to lose weight. It's the breeding ground for most diseases. It's the breeding ground for inflammation as well, which is the root cause of most diseases again. So drinking warm water, and you can try this, you will break out into not really a big sweat, but you will kind of, your body temperature will rise and some of you may just sweat and that's good for you again. Blood circulation, warm liquids stimulate blood circulation. The more blood you have rushing to your muscles, the more they get relaxed. Warm water has this calming effect on your CNS, which is your central nervous system. So it makes it especially good for you to have a, a glass of warm water before you sleep at night, just to ease and soothe your muscles and promote good sleep again. Now, some people like adding chamomile tea to their warm water, which is fantastic to promote sleep. I prefer nutmeg powder because nutmeg automatically induces sleep as well. You can make a drink. You can make a healthy drink before you sleep. Now, you can choose to put what you want in that warm water as long as it's healthy, but it will soothe your muscles, your central nervous system, and promote sleep as well. So women who go through painful PMS will understand this because they put these hot water bags on the areas where it hurts them to soothe them during painful PMS, which means hot water has this impact externally. Imagine the impact that it has internally. So I always advise women and young girls going through painful PMS to have a glass of warm water because it gives you instant relief. We spoke about this before, but I'm going to repeat it again. Something great for PMS is adding raw cacao powder to warm water. This is fantastic for painful PMS again. I'm not talking about cocoa powder. I'm talking about cacao powder. C-A-C-A-O, cacao powder. You can get this easily on Amazon or anywhere. Get a good brand of cacao powder. You take half a teaspoon and you mix it in warm water. And this gives you relief from your PMS. Since we're on the topic of PMS, the other traditional way of reducing... Uh, painful PMS is jaggery mixed with black sesame seeds, okay? And you understand why, because it's rich in iron, and again, it's rich in phosphorus that increases dilation again in the human body. Coming down to metabolism, and this is my favorite. Now, a lot of people will say, and you'll see a lot of articles talking about how warm water can help you reduce weight. Now, reducing weight is multifactorial. It involves the kind of food you eat, how you absorb it, your activity, your sleep, your emotional state of mind. But yes, the connection between warm water and weight loss works like this. When you drink warm water, now your body has to raise its metabolic rate to change the temperature of the warm water you drank to assume the actual temperature in the human body. So your body's metabolic rate actually increases Okay, and anything that boosts your metabolism has its place in you losing weight. But now this doesn't mean you sit around all day drinking warm water expecting yourself to lose weight. It's multifactorial, like I said, but drinking warm water will definitely help. My favorite part, constipation, because this is a problem that plagues millions of people across the world and people have begun to believe that constipation is normal and something that they should live with. It's one of the most detrimental things to have, have in the human body, especially women because you back up estrogen into your liver and you reactivate the cycle of estrogen dominance, which is one of the main reasons why women... Uh, find it difficult to lose that belly fat. They have cellulite and then you have estrogen dominant diseases like endometrial, you know, linings which are growing thicker, breast cancers, ovarian cancers. Any dominance of estrogen in the human body is a bad thing. For men as well, migraines, fatigue, inability to lose weight, keeping toxic material in your system. Warm water has the ability to loosen fecal matter from your colon walls. <clears throat> so this helps you to actually loosen water. Now, a simple example, when you have, when you have, uh, a greasy dish, for example, you just cook food in a pot which is greasy, you soak it in warm water. Why? Because the warm water will loosen all the oily, crusty material from the in insides of the vessel and then you wash it after a while. Think the same thing when warm water is going into your system. It's making your intestines contract, which means it's helping you squeeze out any extra fecal matter or waste, which now has to be passed out of your system. Not only that, dehydration as well. So the more warm water you drink, you know that dehydration is connected with constipation. So here you're getting more water in your system and you're helping your colon to be cleaner naturally.
And finally, congestion. When you have all that congestion in your chest and your sinus and your nasal, having a cup of warm water will suit it because when you're drinking that warm water as well, make it a habit to inhale a little bit of that vapor in, which opens up your entire sinus and anything warm, you remember your mom or dad or your ancestors giving you warm liquids to drink when you're sick and you have congestion because it loosens up the congestion in your chest. When we loosen it up, it can exit the body more freely. Have a great day, everyone. Like I said, you can do this wherever you are. You travel, you're in a hotel, you usually have access to a kettle in your room with water. I like to enhance my water, my warm water in the morning by adding lemon to it because that gives me my, my boost of vitamin C and all the innumerable fantastic health benefits of lemon. Post meals, if I'm lucky and have access to ginger, I like to put a little bit of lemon and raw ginger in. Ginger is highly anti-inflammatory and again, it is great for stimulating digestive enzymes in the human body. So all we've spoken about is water right now with an addition of lemon and ginger to make your digestive system and your health better. Have a great day everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right and breathe deep.